What are we doing now, Robin? We're going to the Dubuque Farmer's Market. Now, is this the, the, the Dubuque Farmer's Market, or is it called like City Street? Iowa Street Market. Iowa Street Market, because there's Ooh. several, right? We got music, Robin. We got live music at the Farmer's Market. Yep. So exciting. So that's organic produce over there. It looks like some, we got raspberries, kales, onions, carrots. That's bow ties. Hello. So, how are you doing? Good. Do you have anything in the way of spicy jellies? How much is the peach jalapeno? Six bucks. I'll go ahead and try one. Thank you. You want to go check it out? Let's go over and check it out. The tomatoes are going to be that way. Oh. It's a very uh, autumn looking, all of it. Crocheted towels. I like them because um, they would stay on our oven. Oh, yeah, they would. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah. All right. So now we're in Queena, and I've literally driven around for 30 minutes just to find a parking space. This is definitely not the time of year to come here. It is busy, like insanely busy. I feel like I'm at Ventura Beach or whatever it is in California. See how they're taking turns here at this intersection? Because the traffic is non-stop. That's what people are doing, they're taking turns. There is no right away when you got so much traffic. So, I was at that area there and everybody was taking turns and it was my turn to get out. Technically, there was no stop sign on the through traffic, but when you have that much traffic, people are taking turns. So I'm pulling out and some pedestrian, not even a person driving, starts chewing me out for cutting off the person that was literally 30 feet away from me, stopped, waiting, letting me pull through. What is it with stupid people that think they have to butt in for other people's sakes when they're not requesting to have somebody come to their defense and when it's not even something to defend because we were taking turns because there's so much traffic, it's what you have to do. So yeah, you can't go that way, Robin. Sorry, I led you on a wild goose chase. Uh -huh. So now we have to walk all the way back down here. You actually do this quite a bit. I'm, that's what I do. I take you on wild goose chases to chase wild geese. Well, I'm back to the truck. We spent all maybe a couple hours here. I spent 30 minutes just trying to find a place to park. When we were here a few years back, it wasn't like this and it was the same time of year. I don't know if it's always been like this on weekends and we happen to come on a weekday, but this kind of sucked. People for the most part were wearing the masks. A lot of the restaurants, it was like an hour wait just to get seated and that's outside, which obviously is what we would choose. The weather's great but the seats were all like picnic tables and it looks like they were seating multiple parties per table. And Robin just wanted to go into some of the gift shops and check things out and they're not regulating how many people walk into a store at a time or anything. So we didn't walk into any of the gift shops because they had a lot of people in them. And so we were able to maintain a decent distance walking around outside, but I saw some people that were passing through on motorcycles said, man, we're just leaving, this, this sucks, we don't even wanna be here. And that's kind of my sentiment. It's a beautiful town, but there's just way too many people. I don't get why it's so busy. So I'm gonna go pick up Robin and I guess we're just gonna head out and go somewhere else. Look at this, I mean, I'm literally at a traffic jam in this town. I don't get it. There's so many people here, I'm literally at a traffic jam. All right, we're now back in Dubuque. We're gonna eat at the outside dining here at Tony Rama's. Let's see if our day goes a little more smooth now. 
Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Let's see what we want. Hey, Robin. Hey, John. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying this out. This is the Samuel Smith Nut Brown Ale. Man, this is actually really, really good beer. All right, so I got this Cajun shrimp and lobster dish. Let's see how it does. And Robin just got a chicken sandwich. Like I have new vision. Things new oh, that's a cool, cool statue. My small one minute photos. No. Man, the sound is deceiving. There it goes. So that's that there. Right there is a rotating bridge. So that would have to turn, and then the train can cross. Right. Otherwise, the way it's turned right now, the boats will just go on through. Right. Tall boats. Short boats can just go underneath. So I'm not sure what's going on, but there's like six cops at the gas station. Why are, what are all these cops doing? Well, these are unrelated. Those are fire trucks and ambulances. Lots of stuff going on tonight in Dubuque. So there's one cop car right there. There's one over there. And then another one right there. And there was another one there when we first pulled up. So there were six. Turn six. left. Six cop cars. Turn right. Apparently for uh, for domestic violence. Turn Apparently right. domestic, domestic violence. Too. We asked the clerk in the store because I was <laughs> I wasn't going to go in. I was reluctant if I should even get gas there, and Three some other person Turn pulled up to get to gas. Station Road. And then some guy pulled in and walked into the store, and I thought, well, they're not stopping them, so. I went in the store and the store was like nothing was going on. I asked the lady behind the counter because it was a domestic violence thing. And I go, oh, I thought maybe you guys had been robbed. She goes, no, I'd be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't stick around for that. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure why they needed how many cop cars? Um, six. Six? I guess six guys, I guess that would be never This is know. really pretty when there's sun on it all, but there's no sun on it right now because we're going back late. We're gonna have a fire, huh, John? Yes. Yes, yes. Because John wants to use his blowtorch. You bought two bundles? No, I just got one. Oh, I was like, ugh. Okay, there you go. How do I? You love it. Do you want me to put that up for you? Yes. That's it? Yep, that's it. Okay. And as I promised, I'm going to show you now the wonderful light, which if you watch the other video, you already seen this, but I'm going to go start a fire. Let me go show you. As you can see, it's dark. We'll walk around here. Doo -doo. Turn that light on, which actually turns on that light. Ta-da! All right, now I'm gonna get my torch so I can start my fire. Let's get it nice and toasty.